into the biggest dispensation of, of deception, which is tribulation. Right? And that's what you see God is talking about here. But what's amazing to me is that the door, you need the Holy Spirit, the anointing of the Holy Spirit to enter through this door. You see that? And the door is shut. That is the rapture door I'm talking about today. Make sure when it is shut, you are on the other side, the inside of heaven side. Hallelujah. And in the same Matthew 25, verse 41, right? He says, Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you who are cast into eternal fire, prepared for the devils and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me nothing to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me nothing to drink. And I was a stranger and did not invite me in. I needed clothes and you did not clothe me. I was sick and in prison and you did not look after me. Hmm? You closed the door. The door was shut. To tell you the truth, I don't know you. You understand? So the Lord is telling the church that this is the moment to enter. You can spiritually enter, which means prepare. Like the time of Noah. All Noah ever wanted them to do is to repent and prepare, be ready. Because it might happen any time. And when the floods came, Noah entered the ark, right? And all of them were, oh, please help us. No, please. This is what? Don't you remember me? Remember me, please. I'm the one. That, do you remember your neighbor? They will say anything at that door when the tribulation comes. You see that? But the door will be shut. And the Lord will totally not open the door. He will completely refuse to open the door. Because the window, the door has been open long enough. You understand? It has been open. But he will not accept that they enter. Because it has been open. All he ever wanted them to do is repent and be ready. Because you don't know the time. You don't know when he comes in. It's very important for the church not to wait for the rapture, but to get ready today. You see that? Because the rapture happens in a twinkling of an eye, which means it's essentially the closing of the door. You see that? It's very critical that you get these people, precious people. Don't miss out on the rapture. Don't wait for the rapture. Just prepare now. So when it happens, anytime you are ready. You see that? Especially that you are carrying this message. You've chosen, you want to carry this message. You want the church to be purified. You want the church to see the kingdom of God. But the question is, how about you? However expensive it is, however precious it is, however addicted you are to it, for as long as it constitutes yeast, out to the garbage at this moment, you still have a moment to start anew. You will not have that moment again. You see that? And time has run out. And that's what the Lord is saying concerning the rapture door. That the church may prepare. All of you, regardless of nation, we are all the same in his eyes. That all may enter through this door before he shuts the door. It is a very sad thing for the door to shut on you. You see that? Make sure it does not shut on you. And remember, the floods went on for some time and Noah and his team were in the safety of the ark. After a while, the boat came to Mount Ararat and then it anchored there. You see that? And then they came out, the dove came out and then talk about the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. You see that? And then Noah picked some clean animals. And the covenant was arrayed by God after the sweet fragrance reached him. You see that? That talks about the dispensation of the Holy Spirit when Jesus will come in the second coming. <coughs> During all this time, the door of Noah is the door that Isaiah saw. That is the door God showed me in that heaven. That opened and is open until today. That is the door that opened at the mountain of transfiguration. You see that? And then raptured the two. You see that? That door is open today. And Isaiah said, for a little while, enter into your rooms and shut the door behind you 
for a little while until his wrath has passed by. When Jesus comes, the enemy is bound for a thousand years. You see that? The dispensation of the Holy Spirit, the reign of the Dios, the kingdom of God will reign. He will rule with an iron scepter. He will rule with an iron thing. When he says homosexuality is sin, it will be sin. Period. Nobody will go to court. When he says lying is sin, it will be sin. Period. Nobody will argue. For 1,000 years of peace, which means there will be a good fragrance, a powerful fragrance that Ezekiel saw. He said only the prince can now stand at the door when that eastern gate will open. And then he will eat at that door. And then he will offer sacrifices unto our God in the temple. So that a little while that Isaiah, that Isaiah talked about is the seven years. The seven years of tribulation. Three and a half of tribulation. Three and a half of great tribulation. For a little while and then the door opens again. When the boat anchored at Mount Ararat, the door opened again. You see that? When the tribulation passed, the door opened. Christ is coming to Jerusalem. The door opens again. May the Lord bless you that you may enter through that door Amen. before it shuts. Shalom.